Now, to begin adding lines that have brushes, like in my example here, um, these are all simple lines I drew with the pencil tool, but threw on one of these frilly brushes, or these organic brushes that I loaded into my program files to create a more visually interesting image to look at, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to add those brushes right now, okay? So the first thing you wanna do after you've decided where your all the shapes that you're going to use that you drew um, using the pucker and bloat filter, or excuse me, effect. I want you to get your pencil tool and just draw a line that you think may look cool with your project. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Um, pick a color. I'm going to turn mine orange. Okay. Make sure that your fill is off. So we want our fill to be transparent and our stroke to be the one with color. Then go to your uh, brushes palette and click the three lines. Go to open brush library and right here are all of the brushes that you loaded uh, yesterday. Okay, so I'm going to choose the meat grinder grunge brush 2A. Okay, and see what we have in here. So there's all of these very interesting brushes that I can choose from. Now I'm just going to start clicking. Now if you notice in my brushes palette which is right here every time I click a brush from the meat grinder grunge it shows up in my palette. It will automatically load and remember that I used this brush at one point. So if I accidentally close the meat grinder grunge brush window my brushes remain in my default brushes palette. So that way, when you open your brushes, or excuse me, open your file tomorrow in school, these brushes will stay here and you won't have to go back and find them. Okay? I'm going to choose... Eh, I'm not a huge fan of these right now, actually. Um, I'm going to go back in and choose a different brush. So you can go back to the three lines Choose Open Brush Library, and I'm going to click Swirl Rocks and just see what that one looks like. Okay, now this is actually good that I just picked this one out. If you notice, it changes from my orange brush to black. Now, if some show up as black, you can't change the colors of them. They're default to be black, and that's the way that they're going to stay, unfortunately. Okay, so if you don't like that, don't use it. I'm going to load a new set of brushes brush library how about we use hair creates elements we'll use this one well yeah we'll definitely use one of these I like this one that looks like leaves we'll choose that one okay uh, once you choose your brush then it's time to begin to Use your free transform tool and you can smush it, you can stretch it, you can use your, your direct selection tool to click on the points and you can change your path so that it bends in different directions. Okay, then you want to try and incorporate this into your design. Okay, now the way I incorporated my brushes into my design is I just simply drew a few swirly lines. Okay, and then added my brush to those lines. So I used a pencil tool, made an arc, clicked on my grunge brush, open brush library, meat grinder, okay. I chose a grunge brush, actually same grunge brush, okay. And then I just moved it. <clears throat> and I just played with the angles and, and twisted and it's all up to you, okay? This is your design, it's your t-shirt design, it's up to you and for you. So this is a brush, these black lines are brushes, everything else are the pucker and bloat shapes <clears throat> that we made in the previous tutorial. So we want you to use the brushes, um, get some lines in there, you need to use at least three brushes in your design to create different lines, okay? Once you're done with that, I want you to do a file, save, save your work, 
in your iDrive, in your t-shirt mock-up folder, and move on to the next tutorial.